If you can program your favorite TV shows to record, you can program the remote for your motorized shades. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. In this short video, we're going to discuss the initial setup of your shade, pairing your remote with a shade motor, adjusting the lower limit, setting a favorite position, and performing a factory reset. Your shade may look a bit different than ours, but that's okay. The steps in this video will still apply. Just be sure to reference your shade's installation instructions as needed. Do not attempt to lower or raise your motorized shade manually. Doing so can permanently damage the motor and other components in the headrail. You'll notice a small rubber cap on the charger cable emerging from the motor head, which you should always keep on when not in use to avoid electrical damage to the motor. Also, be sure to keep the bottom rail centered on the fabric to help prevent fraying on the edges of your shade. Your remote comes from the factory already paired to the shade, though you may choose to adjust these settings for your own convenience. You will see five buttons on the front of your remote. Up, Stop, Down, Channel Increase, and Channel Decrease. On the back of the remote, there is also a program button that can be pressed with a thin object like a paperclip. Your remote can operate up to six individual channels. The lights at the top of the remote indicate which channel you're currently operating. If all six lights are illuminated, then the remote will operate all six channels at the same time. We highly recommend programming only one shade to each channel to avoid complications during programming and operation. Your first step will be to get the motor out of sleep mode. To wake up the motor, simply press the program button on the motor head until it beeps once. Press the up or down button to move the shade up or down to the nearest safe position. Press the stop button to halt the shade. Press and hold up or down for two seconds to move the shade directly to the top or bottom limits. Now, let me show you how to pair your shade to your remote. Select the channel that you would like your shade program to. Then press and hold the program button on the motor head until you hear a beep and the shade quickly jogs up and down. Press the up button and you will see the shade jog again. Your motor is now paired with the channel you selected. Next, we'll review how to adjust your shade's lower limit. This step is optional as your shade comes from the factory with the upper and lower limits already programmed. Press the down button to lower the shade to the bottom limit. Press the program button on the back of your remote and the shade will jog to indicate that it is now in limit setting mode. Adjust the shade until you're satisfied with the new bottom limit. Press the program button again and the shade will jog to confirm that your lower limit is now saved. Another optional step is setting a favorite position. Your motor can save up to four favorite positions, but we recommend only programming one for now. Using the up and down buttons, move your shade to your desired favorite position. Press the program button on the back of your remote until the shade jogs to indicate that it is now in limit setting mode. Adjust the shade if needed until it reaches your favorite spot. Then press the program button and the shade will jog to confirm that your favorite position is now saved. If you'd like to save another favorite position, repeat this process. Any new favorites will need to be at least six inches away from your limits and other saved positions. To delete an existing favorite, move the shade to the position you want to remove. Then press and hold the program button on the back of the remote for about seven seconds. The shade will jog once before the seven seconds and once after. This confirms that your favorite position has been deleted. Finally, I'll show you how to reset your shade motor to factory default settings. This will erase all existing settings on your motor, so you will need to immediately pair it with a channel and set new upper and lower limits. To perform a factory reset, press the program button on the motor head five consecutive times, but hold the button down on the fifth press until the shade jogs twice. The motor's memory and all presets have now been erased. Select a channel to pair your shade to, press the program button on the motor head until the shade beeps and jogs, and then press up on the remote. To save a new upper limit, use the up and down buttons to position the shade about six inches below the desired upper limit. Then press the program button on the back of the remote. The shade will jog up and down to let you know it's in limit setting mode. Tap the up button to move the shade incrementally until reaching your new limit. Press the program button on the back of the remote again until the shade jogs. Your new upper limit is now programmed. To set a new bottom limit, position the shade about six inches above the desired lower limit. Press the program button on the back of your remote until the shade jogs. 
Then tap the down button repeatedly until the shade is set at the new bottom position. Press the program button again and the shade will jog to confirm that the lower limit is saved. With a factory reset complete, test to make sure your shade operates and reaches each limit as expected. If you have more shades to program, follow the instructions in this video on a new channel for each shade. You did it! You now know how to operate and program your motorized shade.